Welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you more about reflection and normals in Prisma 3D. Let's start with reflection. When you open the reflection settings, you'll see a few preset options. But I recommend tapping the arrow here to explore more controls. You'll find sliders for specular and smoothness. These let you fine-tune the reflection manually. Increasing the specular value gives your object a shinier, more metallic look. The smoothness slider adjusts how sharp or blurry that reflection appears. Now, I'll import a texture from my device, apply some reflection, and add a light to show you how it all comes together. All right, now that we've seen how reflection works, let's move on to normals. Normals affect how light interacts with the surface of your model, basically how highlights and shadows appear. To use normals, open the normals option and import a normal map, just like you imported a texture. Keep in mind, Prisma 3D doesn't generate normal maps. so. If you're using a texture, make sure to download its normal map as well. Once you import the normal map and add lighting, you'll notice a big difference. The surface looks much more realistic with better depth and detail. Here's a comparison. One texture without normals and the same texture with normals applied. And that's it for this material tutorial. I hope this helped you understand reflections and normals a bit better. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.